Hi everybody and welcome to day 23 of ICAD index card a day. Now this is a card that it was actually bigger than this and I cut it down to 4x6. It, um, it was something that I was trying to do that didn't work out but I didn't throw it out. And the background is just a bunch of distress inks and oxides and um, some stamping and then I had gone over the whole entire card with some distress glaze and that was pretty much the whole background like what you see right now and the stencil the numbers is the Tim Holtz stencil and then the little thing that kind of <laughs> it reminds me of like chicken footprints and then the scallop thing over to the top left those two are from paper bag studio Robin Marie Smith um, called inked now this is something I drew I was inspired by something I had seen but I didn't want to use their image so I made one my own style and I drew it and then I scanned it on my computer and printed out a few and I actually like the look of it better printed than using the original because it gets more it reminds me of when you have I think it's called carbon paper the stuff that you write on top of and you get the the copy underneath you know like when you write a check and you your receipts underneath you know what I'm talking about you know old school checks <laughs> but anyways it kind of reminds me of that like all the lines and stuff and the way it looks so I like the look of it better versus like using the original so I'm taking a piece of Tim Holtz botanical collage paper and I decided to cut around the shape because I didn't want that white like I know it's collage paper and you're supposed to be able to see it but not see it but you do and that's one thing that bothers me about the collage papers is like you do see the plain stuff once you would hear it down and I wanted the least amount of that as possible so I traced around it and you can still see it there are parts I wish there was a way I don't know something you could use so you wouldn't see it but if there is let me know in the comments below because I would love to know and I tore that one while I was gluing it down and I put it back but <laughs> now looking at my card I could have just ripped it off because the dude that I drew gets applied right there in that spot so you wouldn't even have seen it may have got a little heavy handed with the Mod Podge so once that had dried I wanted to brighten up the background just a tiny bit so I went in with some golden high flow fluorescent pink paint and it needed to be shook up pretty well because it had been a long time since it had been used and a lot of it was settling on the bottom so I ended up using my paintbrush to apply it and I didn't do it over the whole entire card just in a few spots
So you can see you don't like the color looked watery until I got the brush right down to the bottom of the bottle. So that tells you how badly it needed to be <laughs> really shaken up. And the bubbles do disappear. Oh, so it wasn't ain't, it's Garden Muse. And both of the stamps I used are from that set. So I'm just going over the same spot that it was originally. I just wanted it to show up more. And then I decided to add it over on the right as well, just a little tiny bit. And I still felt like the card needed a little something, but I didn't want to add like a sticker quote and all that again. And I didn't want to hand write a quote or anything like that. So I could picture this little tiny rectangle down on his, I don't know, sweater or <laughs> whatever it is he's wearing. And so I just took a piece of scrap paper, drew a small rectangle, and inside wrote the word hope with a little heart next to it. So that is it for day 23. And since this video was a little bit shorter than the others, I decided to add another clip of a kitty cat. <laughs> now the last one was of the two brothers, Finn and Milo. This one is of my big cat, Mosby. Now he's big, but not fat big. He's just, he's a big cat. He's about 14 pounds and it's like muscle. He is just a big boy. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy meeting my cute kitty Mosby. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. There's a beautiful pussy cat. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mosby. Being cute. Yeah. Being cute.